Good morning, team. Today we are at Epcot, and we just parked our car. We're taking a walk into the park now, and we're going to get started with our day. We have a couple of fast passes lined up for things like Test Track, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing what this place is all about and checking out some of those countries, especially Norway. Because we're Norwegians. <laughs> Okay, what did you all think of Test Track? Two thumbs up, two thumbs down. <laughs> So we had a great time riding on Test Track. Well, some of us did anyway. Others who don't like fast rides didn't like that one so much. But I loved it. And now we are waiting in line for Living with the Land, which is a boat ride that teaches you about growing hydroponic vegetables and stuff like that. So we're really excited to see this. And I think this one is one that Carrie is particularly going to enjoy. is an important goal of research around the world. Okay, what did you guys think about living with the land? Awesome! Awesome, all around. Lots of thumbs up on this one. It was amazing to see all the beautiful and creative ideas they have for growing plants and how beautiful the plants, they look gorgeous and healthy and I absolutely enjoyed it. It was one of the best things we've done so far. So. Yeah. Have people been wishing you a happy birthday all over Disney today? Yeah. Why? How do they know? Because I have a book right here that says happy birthday, if you can see it. Um, I have a Mickey Mouse with a birthday cake on it. So we packed our lunch again today. We found a, a nice quiet spot between the Land Pavilion and the Nemo area. And this area is kind of quiet. And we actually got two benches all to ourselves. So we're just sitting and enjoying our, our packed lunch. And then we're going to head over to Mission Space. We have four fast passes over there, so some of the older kids and I are going to go fly in a spaceship. So 
when you hear the words go for launch, you'll definitely want to hang on. Happy birthday. Say thank you. Stay here. Right next to me, Joe. Flight sequence. And for landing, activate manual control. Uh, you are Boarding flight plan. You're the pilot, Joe. Engineer. Roger. You are go for launch. Thumbs up, thumbs down. How was Mission Space? Awesome. Uh, thumb up and thumb down for Joe. He kind of liked it, kind of didn't. That was pretty amazing, wasn't it? Yep. Now that we've successfully completed our space mission, we're going to go look to Spaceship Earth, which has nothing to do with space at all, but we're going to go uh, take a look inside of that giant golf ball. That's what we've been calling that beautiful uh, building that is that Epcot is so known for. We're going to go look for that giant golf ball and... Um, and do Spaceship Earth. Okay, guys, Spaceship Earth, thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs up. up Whoa, up thumbs up all the, the way around. Awesome. What was your favorite part of it? Um, the, um, all of it. All of it? I, I like all of it. I like Being all of it. Being in the golf ball. I like the sleeping monk. Some, Did some anyone see the sleeping monk? Oh, yeah. yeah. he's he fell asleep on his desk. <laughs> it was really funny. One of the main features of Epcot is the, the journey around the world that you can take as you go around this lake. And so, because my half of the family is from Norway, we're going to go check out Norway first and then see some of the other countries that we can see. We are now in Norway, the home of Anna and Elsa from the movie Frozen. And uh, we don't have a fast pass for Frozen today, so we're not going to see that. But we heard there's some delicious food in the restaurant, so we're going to go see what we can find. And there's a particular dessert we're looking for. The seating was kind of limited in Norway, so we're actually eating our Norwegian snack in China. So this is Norwegian school bread from the Norwegian Kringle Bakery. And over here we have Lefse, which is a classic family recipe in my family. Uh, this one, it's a sort of like a potato tortilla. And this one is rolled up with butter and cinnamon and sugar, which should be absolutely delicious. We didn't have a double stroller before this trip, but we decided to buy one um, off of Facebook Marketplace for, you know, pretty cheap. Um, because we heard it would be really helpful, um, even for children that don't normally use strollers, to have a stroller for this trip. So Joseph and Lydia have been taking turns um, in and out of the stroller, and Caleb has been in it a bit as well. It's also proved to be a great place for napping. So if you come with two smaller kids, even up to, you know, four or five years old, 
it might be helpful to have a double stroller instead of just your normal single stroller if that's all you have. So we've now finished our last ride of the day. We really enjoyed the seas with Nemo and had a great time. Now we're eating dinner. We went to the Land Pavilion, which is right around the corner from the Finding Nemo ride. And we're having some Mongolian beef and some of the kids are having wraps or uh, turkey sandwiches. Great end to a great day. We want to thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And in the comments, we'd love to hear about your experience at Epcot and what are some of your favorite attractions here. If you're not a subscriber already, please hit that subscribe button so you never miss another video from Team Lucas. And we also want to say a special thank you to our friends Rob and Amy and their family uh, for hosting us and for making this visit possible for us. We are really appreciating it and thank you so much. God bless you all and we will see you soon.